An exhibition contest here between the Chicago Bears and Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, with that in mind, let's go down to the field. We are ready for football. Longwell will be kicking this one off to get us started. Farwell was there for the stop. And now in his seventh year out of Vandy, here comes Jake Cutler. The offense will take over at the 30. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Flips it out short to his left. And when you look at this offense and some of their key players, you realize that with guys like Matt Forte from Tulane, they're going to use a power running game. Yeah, you're going to need more than one guy to bring down Matt Forte. He's a tough, bruising running back that really is the embodiment of the position. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Cutler hands it off straight ahead. He's tackled around the 49-yard line by Griffin. From their own 49-yard line. They go with the pitch to the right. They get three yards on the play. They line up at the 48. heavy traffic time to meet the defensive starters who are built to stop the run by being strong up front defensive tackle Kevin Williams out of Oklahoma State anchors a defensive line that is extremely strong well that's because Kevin Williams is extremely strong he's one of those few guys who can power through a double team and wreak havoc in the backfield surveys the field Look out, heavy pressure on him. He gets the sack, and the offensive lineman didn't have much of a chance. <laughs> he delivered a perfect swim move, and he was into the backfield in a flash. That's a kind of his signature move, if you will, and he's had a lot of success using it to get to the quarterback. And it didn't look like the quarterback even saw him coming. Yeah, he gets back there so fast that even if you have quick reaction time, you're still going to get sacked. So after the sack, it's now fourth down and long. Camarillo fields it at the 26. 
Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. And coming to the field, the quarterback, who hopes to lead this offense to victory in this game. deep toward the left sideline. Let's spotlight some of the key weapons on offense and the passing game centers around receiver Percy Harvin out of Florida, who was a very good deep threat. Yeah, even if you have a great running game, it's important to have some method for stretching the field, and Percy Harvin provides the deep threat that takes a lot of pressure off of this running game. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. He passes the line of scrimmage. Of course, any discussion of the defense has to start with linebacker Brian Erlocker out of the University of New Mexico, who has been a high-profile player in the NFL since the start. Yeah, and probably a surefire Hall of Famer as well. You can really go on and on about how great Brian Erlocker has been and lose sight of how great he still is now. He still has the ability to impact a game on a down-to-down -down basis. Throws to his right. He's brought down right around the 46-yard line by Bullocks. It's first and ten. Peterson, left side. A gain of six. So second down. The offense needs about four for the first. They hand it off. He's dropped down around the 40-yard line by Adams. First down and 10. Takes it right up the gut, and he's got room to run. Adrian Peterson with some very solid running that time. If there is an opening to be found on the defense, this guy is going to find it and exploit it. And we'll have a first down and 10 at the 25. Again with the carry. He lost yardage on the play. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. They line up at the 25. He takes off. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Seven yards.
Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They make the tackle, but not before he gives the Vikings a first down and goal. First down, goal to goal. Number 32 gets the call again. It's a gain of four. Two, maybe two and a half yards from the goal line now. Short throw to the right. Big situation coming up. Tie game. Third and goal from the two. Dumps it short. It is an incomplete pass. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And the kick is good. Ryan Longwell nails it, and they'll grab the lead. Three-point game. Ryan Longwell will be kicking off. Knox stands back to field the kick. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. Brinkley was there to bring him down. They were forced to punt on their last drive. They'll set up shop at the 31. First down, 10 to go. Cutler with the give. He's wrestled down at about the 37-yard line by Lieber. And just about four yards away here on second down. Passes it short. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line by Allen. They line up at the 44. Short throw to the left. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. 
Yeah, you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have caught that bullet. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They go with the toss. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. Cutler gives it up the middle. A pickup of about seven. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. Takes a handoff. Gets to about the 21-yard line. Jared Allen was there for the stop. It's first and 10. Loads it up. Looking end zone. The pass falls incomplete. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. The ball sits on the 21. He gets another carry. He's tackled around the 15-yard line by Brinkley. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Hands it to the back. They make the stop, but the Bears will have a first and goal. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. First and goal. Feeds it to the back. And the tackle was made by Everson Griffin. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is three to nothing. Vikings. Welcome back to Chicago. Only a couple yards from the score. the touchdown and the thing defensive coordinators hate more than anything else is a quarterback that can run the football it just seems like you have so much more to defend that time he made a nice run Woo! 
Robbie Gould is good on the point after. Chicago holds a four-point lead. Robbie Gould is just about ready to kick this one away. Harvin is back to receive the kick. And it's fielded at the four. The Vikings take the field looking to put together a scoring drive. They came away with three the last time out. They'll start this drive at the 19-yard line. First down and 10. Peterson gets the call. He's brought down around the 24-yard line by Toena. From their own 24-yard line. Rolling out to his right. Dumps it out right. Drops it, and he was pretty well covered. Boy, the quarterback has to be a better decision maker than that. There's no way he was going to get that one in. The offense is now looking at third and five. Ball on their own 24. He's looking down the middle. Throws. He's dropped down at about the 31 by Erlocker. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 31. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. Even the slightest twitch by an offensive lineman will draw a flag. You know, defensive guys really have a bit of an advantage. As long as they don't cross the line of scrimmage, they can jump and flinch and try and get that offensive line to react. Daylight! He's wrestled down around the 44-yard line by Bullocks. First down, 10 to go. Peterson takes it up the middle. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line by Harris. They line up at the 45. On the ground with a tailback. Tank Tyler was there to bring him down. Racks up seven tough yards. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Gives it left side. He doesn't get back to the line. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback 
able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Dumps it out left. He's got room. He's tackled at about the 27 by Briggs. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. And they'll spot it at the 27. He's brought down around the 21-yard line by Jennings. Second and six yards to go. Ponder hands it off. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Third down, seven yards to go. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. And the field goal unit out to try this 44-yarder. They might have missed time the snap on that one. You can see even his teammates are upset about that one. You can't make that kind of a mistake on fourth down. They call on the field goal unit. The kick is good. Makes the long one with room to spare. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Longwell gets ready to kick it away. Hester is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. He makes it back to the 25. Farwell was there for the stop. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 25. Looks right, throws, at the 50, at the 40. He's dropped down around the 34-yard line by Williams. And first down and 10 to go now, following the big gain through the air. Hey. 
Forte on the run. He gets to about the 32-yard line. Rodeo Jared Allen was there to bring him down. They're looking now at second and eight. Has a man open in the middle. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. That'll bring up third down with eight yards to go. Looks left. Here's a short pass. And the pass falls incomplete. Mano Meliuna was the intended receiver. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He splits the uprights. Robbie Gould sends it through and gives them a four-point lead. Gould will be kicking off. Harvin stands back to field the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. The stop was made by Desmond Clark. The Vikings were able to get three points on their last possession. The offense will start at the 30. First down and 10. Peterson on the inside handoff. He's wrestled down around the 36-yard line by Tino Isamoa. And just about four yards away here on second down. It's the tailback. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line by Toena. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 44. Number 32 takes the give. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line by Reed. They're looking at second down and six. Ball on their own 48. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. Hutchinson is guilty of moving early. Second down, 11 yards for first. On their own, let's say 43. Number 32 gets the ball.
That brings up third and ten. Searching for an open man. Has a man out to his right. He's brought down at about the 39-yard line by Tillman. They line the ball up at the 39. He found some daylight. Julius Peppers was there for the stop. A nice pickup of eight yards. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. He's dropped down around the 27-yard line by Bauman. First down, 10 to go. So the ball on the 27-yard line. Going up towards the end zone. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. So the ball on the 27-yard line. He's going to run with it. He's wrestled down at about the 17-yard line by Erlocker. It's third down now and just about the length of the football away from the first down marker. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense just like that one. Number 32 gets a call. He fights forward to about the 19. Corey Wooten was there to bring him down. This will be about a 36-yard field goal. Right. 
It's up and it's good. So after that kick, the score is now the Vikings. Nine, the Bears. Ten. Longwell is just about ready to kick this one away. Hester is back to receive the kick. Caught at the 8. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Henderson was there for the stop. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Has a man to his right. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line by Allen. Well, they got away with that one. Really not a very good play throwing back across your body like that, but uh, every once in a while you'll sneak that in. And two yards away here on second down. And the tackle was made by Kevin Williams. Seems like the defensive pressure has him a little rattled out there, Chris. Yeah, it does. certainly seems that way. He's been quick to tuck and run rather than sitting in the pocket and finding the open man. No question about it, but it's got to be hard to be comfortable in that pocket when it keeps collapsing around him. Takes off with it, and he's in the clear. A pickup of about seven. They're going for the home run. He's knocked out of bounds at the five-yard line. It's always kind of funny to think about with all the big guys that play the game of football. Sometimes it's the little wide receivers that scare you the most. First down and goal. For the offense now after that big pass play. Flips it out short. E.J. Henderson was there to bring him down. Olsen picks up about maybe four yards with the catch. Second down, goal to goal. Flips it out short to his left. Touchdown! What a play! And when you have a versatile tight end like this, yes, he's in there potentially to block, so you have to play the run. Then he sneaks out on the pass route and catches it for a big touchdown. Gould, and it's now an eight-point game with the point after. Chicago is up eight.
Chicago looks ready to kick it away. Harvin is deep, looking to return the kickoff. They want to avoid a run back, so they'll squib kick it. Gets the ball at around the 10. He's tackled right around the 34-yard line by Moore. They'll go to work at the 34. It's first and 10. Passes it deep on the left side. And he drops the short pick. And as we head to halftime, our score is 17. Nine. Welcome back to Chicago. Minnesota will get it first here in the second half. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. He returns to the 26. Robbie Gould was there for the stop. The offense will take over at the 26-yard line. First down and 10. Daylight. Peterson takes a handoff. He's brought down at about the 41 by Bauman. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 41. On the delay. He's dropped down right around the 42-yard line by Toena. Brings up second and nine. Ponder with the give. He's wrestled down around the 48-yard line by Manning. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Pitches out to the left. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line by Jennings. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Number 32 on the run. He's dropped for a loss 
And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own depths. It's second down and 11 to go. Again with the carry. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line by Tillman. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Number 32 on the delay. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. Second down and a long 14 here. Ball on the 40-yard line. They'll give it off here. What a move! And it buys him space. He picks it up. Boy, and that's a killer right there. You're down just one score. You have a chance to get right back in the football game, and you give it up. They'll get the ball here at the 36-yard line. It's first and 10. Forte, the ball carry. He's brought down right around the 38-yard line by Lieber. They're looking now at second and eight. Ball on their own, 38. Short pass to his left. He's dropped down around the 43-yard line by Lieber. The play fake gave the big tight end a chance to gain a little separation there, and the quarterback did a nice job of finding him with the pass. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. Looks upfield, and he's got room to run. He's wrestled down around the 41-yard line by Abdullah. First down and 10. Ball's on the 41. Cutler hands off to the left. Makes it to the 38. E.J. Henderson was there to bring him down. Second and seven situation here. Pat Williams was there for the stop. Third and five right here. The pigskin is on the 37-yard line. Hey. 
Loads it up. Looking end zone. He was going for the end zone, but the pressure that time on the blitz forced a bad throw, and that really was the difference on that one. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He splits the uprights. He really came through on the long distance attempt. You don't make a kick like that without a perfect hold and a perfect snap. But let's give this kicker some credit. That was an extraordinary effort. Gould gets ready to kick it away. Harvin stands back to field the kick. And it's fielded at the four. He gets out to the 28-yard line. Wright was there to bring him down. The offense will start at the 28-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Inside handoff. Well, let's face it. Defensive players get paid for sacks. They were really coming after the quarterback that time, and the delay caught him napping. First down, 10 to go. Ponder flips it out. And he's tackled right around midfield by Harris. Only a yard needed to convert here on second down. And they get to him. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play. Huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. He gets another carry. Julius Peppers was there for the stop. They needed the first on that play, and he delivered. Nice run on third down that time. Boy, you can tell the confidence they have in this running back. They're going to feed him the ball in difficult situations, and he came through there. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Pass is short right side. He's tackled around the 40-yard line by Tino Isamoa. Rice caught that one for a gain of six. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one.
Number 32 takes it up the middle. He's brought down at about the 43-yard line by Jennings. Third down, they need six for first down. Has a man short to his left. The Vikings are having a tough time getting the ball down the field in the passing game against this defense. They're facing some good coverage, and they just haven't been able to break it open. It's fourth down. The Vikings lining up to punt. And they already have the lead. This field position could set them up to put even more points on the board. They'll set up shop at the 20. It's first and 10. Looking for a big gain down the middle. The stop was made by E.J. Henderson. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. First down and 10. Ball is on their own 33. Forte takes it left. And that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. It's a second and eight situation now. Forte gets it on the counter. There's a player shaken up on the play. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 49. Dumps it out left. He's pushed out of bounds at the 39-yard line. The Bears are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. First down, 10 to go. They spot it on the 39. Has a man open in the middle. Another catch on this drive. He's dropped down around the 27-yard line by Lieber. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. So, at the end of three, our score, 20, 9. Welcome back to Chicago. The Bears have a good shot at widening the gap even further, starting the fourth quarter deep in enemy territory.
in heavy traffic. He goes down. Sack. So the sack on first down brings up second and long. Goes through his progression. Knox was the intended receiver. Third and long, passing situation. Cutler hands it left. Antoine Winfield was there to bring him down. This will be about a 40-yard field goal. The kick is good. So that will make the score the Bears 23, the Vikings 9. Chicago is ready to kick this one off. Harvin is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Wilson was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 27. It's first and 10. Peterson takes it right side. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. There's the deep throw. Fumble. Chicago has the football. Wide receivers are pretty good at catching the football. They're not always good at running with the football. It takes a lot of strength to hold on to that ball, and he gave it up. His teammates all say he was down before losing the ball. What do you think? Well, I think it'd be a little strange for a teammate to say that they thought you fumbled. <laughs> so this is one of those that even if you're lying, you're going to try and back up your teammate here. What a saving play. They will reverse the call on this fumble. You know, it's just not easy to see when the runner is down. And that time, the officials took their time, able to take a second look, and they got it right. Short throw to the left. He thinks he hauled it in, but we'll see what the officials say. So after conferring, they're going to say he was out of bounds.
He took a stab at a great catch, but that time just didn't happen. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. Not many plays in the playbook designed to get this kind of yardage. Third down and long. Deep throw. End zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Sidney Rice brought it in for the 39-yard score through the air. And the point after is good. Over 10 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And our score, the Vikings, 16. The Bears, 23. Longwell is just about ready to kick this one away. Hester is back to receive the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it back to the 25. Allen was there to bring him down. First down and 10. Ball on their own 25. They give it off here. He's wrestled down around the 26-yard line by Edwards. It's now second and nine. The ball is on their own 26. Steps and throws to the left side. It looks like he was able to bring it down in bounds. They'll discuss it. They're not going to give it to him. Well, let's give him some credit for making a great effort, but just unable to pull that one in. Takes a shot deep to the right. Knox was his intended target. It's fourth down. The Bears ready to punt this one away. Camarillo will take off at the 38. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. And we'll have a first down and 10. Peterson off the right side. 
And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line by Tillman. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 47. Peterson on the right side. He's tackled around the 47-yard line by Tino Isamoa. First down, 10 to go. He's going to be tackled for a loss. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Second down now, 12 to go. Peterson takes a handoff. He's brought down right around the 46-yard line by Briggs. Big down for the offense as they try to make up a deficit here in the fourth quarter. Deep pass. He wants the end zone. Comes down with it. Touchdown. There's just something about a ball that you know if you catch it, it's six points. And if you don't, you're going to be the go to the game. It just makes you focus a little bit more. And this for the tie. The PAT is up and good. So, with over seven minutes left, here in the fourth quarter, our score, the Vikings, 23, the Bears, 23, Ryan Longwell will be kicking off. Hester stands back to field the kick. Collects it at the 7. He brings it back to the 23. Number 37 was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 23-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Flips it out short to his left. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 34. Has a seam down the middle. 
He's dropped down right around the 42-yard line by Abdullah. First down and 10. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. Facing a second at 11. Ball on the 44. Short throw to the right. The stop was made by Chris Cook. They gained five on the play. Third down, six yards to the first. The ball is on the 39-yard line. Short pass to his left. He's wrestled down at about the 35-yard line by Griffin. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. Number 63 is guilty of moving early. So, it's fourth down. The Bears lining up to punt. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take over at the 20-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ponder with the give. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary, and then he was able to explode from there. First down, 10 to go. Ball is on their own 33. Ponder hands it off straight ahead. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. They'll go from their own 32-yard line. Ponder hands off to the left. Julius Peppers was there to bring him down. Just about three yards there. Here they go, third down and eight. They're on their own 35. Passes it deep on the left side. Tip pass and it's incomplete. And the pass will fall incomplete, fourth down coming up. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Fourth down. The Vikings are lining up to punt it away.
Fields it, and he's hit immediately. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there, or he's going to get killed. They'll get the ball here at the 23. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Forte takes it up the middle. He's dropped for a loss. So many times it's up to that backside blocker to get his guy on the ground, and it sounds ugly, but typically those guys are chopping at their knees and trying to knock them off their feet so there's some cutback lanes. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Alex to run for the first down. And the tackle was made by Jimmy Kennedy. And defensive coordinators hate running quarterbacks. They really do. Because it's one more spot on the field that against some quarterbacks, you don't have to defend. from their own 27-yard line. Passes short right side. E.J. Henderson was there for the stop. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts, and he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away, and he is working them over. Here comes the heat. Yeah, he did a good job of finding his receiver and getting the ball to him. So the officials want to take another look at this catch to make sure the receiver was in bounds. And sometimes these receivers could be pretty good bluffers out there. Remember, the officials have to try and watch the hands and the feet at the same time. And every once in a while, you can get away with a little bobble. And upon further review, they conclude he didn't have possession. You know, I don't think you're ever going to convince that receiver that he didn't make that catch in bounds, so we'll just have to move on without him. He's not happy. Fires a laser down the middle. And when you throw a football that hard, it just leaves no margin for error because there's no room for the wide receiver to make an adjustment. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Looks left. Here's a short pass. This is close. Did he come up with it? So after conferring, they're going to say he was out of bounds. He took a stab at a great catch, but that time just didn't happen. Camarillo will start his return to the 24. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. They'll take over at the 30. It's first and 10. He's still on his feet, looking for a receiver. 
And he's tackled right around the 34-yard line by Moore. Has a man to his right. He thinks he hauled it in, but we'll see what the officials say. They say no, he didn't have it. I don't care who you're talking about. That was a tough catch for anybody in this league. And the booth is going to challenge this one. They want to see if he was able to get both feet inbounds before going out. One of the keys as a receiver to these plays is to make it look simple. In other words, casually make the catch and dot the I and do all that so the official, whether you got your feet down or not, thinks that it looks so good that it's a completion. So after taking another look, they'll give him the catch. Well, and that's exactly why they have the eyes in the sky, because every once in a while on the sideline, the officials can miss one. But they come back and they get it right, and that's what's really important. Harvin was the intended receiver. So they'll face a second and 10. We're down to just a minute in this game. He takes off. A five yard gain. And third down, five for the first. Takes off with it, and he's in the clear. He's tackled around the 44-yard line by Bauman. First down and 10. Still looking for an open man. To the 10. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown. Slim chance now after that score. Well, there's no shortage of big play guys on the other offense, so let's give them a chance. This one's not done yet. Extra point is good. Minnesota is up seven. Under a minute left in this one.
Ryan Longwell is just about ready to kick this one away. Knox is back to receive the kick. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Chris Cook was there to bring him down. They'll set up shop at the 21. And we'll have a first down and 10. Good coverage downfield. And they get to him. The Bears will take their first time out of the half. So the sack on first down brings up second and long. Looking to his left. He's going deep. Third and long for the offense, looking for a first down. That would keep this comeback attempt alive. Throws to his right. He bats the ball away. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. And they keep the offense out there on fourth down. Looking for a man. He's got a man streaking down the middle of the field. He's brought down around the 20-yard line by Williams. Good gain through the air will set them up with another first down and 10. He's searching for a receiver. Passes out to his right. Hester was the intended receiver on the play. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. He lets it go. The desperation pass. He's got it. Touchdown. Greg Olson delivers a touchdown pass on a beautiful throw. And I really I just admire the way he plays the quarterback position. It was such an intelligence there, but also this... This gutsiness, what an awesome combination. And this for the tie. And the point after is good. Chicago is ready to kick this one off. Harvin stands back to field the kick. 
Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it to the 23-yard line. Number 19 was there for the stop. And with all the points on the board today, I don't think anyone expected a tie ball game at the end of four. We head to overtime. Welcome back to Chicago. Well, with that, we get ready to get our overtime action underway. Initially, I didn't want to see them change overtime because I thought what made overtime so exciting was that the game could end on any given play. You score a touchdown, the game's over. Well, they didn't change that part of it. All they said was that if the team that wins the coin toss goes down and kicks a field goal, we're going to give a possession to the other team. But if you go down and score a touchdown after winning the coin toss, the game's over. So in essence, they've kept the excitement, but balanced the power a little bit to give both teams a chance. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 34. They give it off here. The stop was made by Antoine Winfield. That's a gain of five. It's second and five here. Dumps it out right. Drop behind the line. Third down, six yards to the first. Short throw to the right. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. And you know the amazing thing about this guy? We all talk about his arm strength, but did you see how fluid that delivery was? He didn't even look like he was trying to throw it hard. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. Dumps it out left. Catches it, and he's dropped. That one goes for a loss of about five. You got to give the defense a lot of credit on that one. They made a little correction at the line of scrimmage, and they had that play pegged right from the start. Second down and 15 to go. Here's a pass over the middle. E.J. Henderson was there to bring him down. He brings in his third ball of this series. And this is a little hard to explain, but I really think that you see receivers begin to get comfortable after they make their first catch and get hit. But any time in a drive that you catch multiple balls, you just get into a rhythm like a putter or like a quarterback throwing the ball or a pitcher. It's something that's a part of sports that's kind of hard to explain. Breaks through up the gut. And the tackle was made by Chad Greenway. Matt Forte breaks through for five yards. That'll be good for the first. They line the ball up at the 39. is out to the left right through his hands he almost had the pick he knows he just got away with one there that's a ball he should have never thrown
It's now second down, 10 yards to go. They spot it on the 39. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. You know, it's just five yards, but a penalty like that can really throw your offense off rhythm. You definitely have to now change the play call at this point. And looks left. Throws. Chad Greenway was there for the stop. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Forte gets another carry. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. And they'll line up for the long field goal try. This one from 50. Win it. What a finish. He just showed off his incredible leg strength there. What a kick. Wow. Can you believe he made that one? <laughs> That's my expert analysis there. Wow. That'll do it from the field. We have top plays and stats coming up next, so stay right with us. And let's take a look at the Gatorade Performer of the Game. 